Well, happy Sunday, you guys. It's Danielle Nicole here. How's everybody doing? Um, I actually am filming this on Saturday and having it ready for Sunday. If you saw my video that I put up on Saturday, which is today for me, I had a rough week and not doing so hot. So I'm trying to regroup and get my head in the game. Um, I think it hit me today that I'm trying to do Weight Watchers and think that putting in a little bit of work is going to just make it happen. And I'm learning the hard way that losing weight takes a lot of hard, consistent work. And, you know, my younger Danielle could just drop 5, 10 pounds if I was starting to get a little chunky or whatever. And it's just a lot harder now. I, I have to be in it to win it or it's just not going to happen. So... Um, I had a gain yesterday. If you watched that video, it was just a miserable video for me to make, but um, I'm feeling some of that bloat from the salt and eating out and all of that coming off of me. But just, just thinking about it, after I made that video, I did go to the gym, you guys. In fact, I just came back from the gym and freshened myself up. So that's cool. Now if I can just do this all the time, going to the gym or getting on my treadmill or doing my videos. But um, that was such a humbling experience doing that video, even though I've had lots of videos where I'm like, oh, I don't want to do a video today. But it really did give me a little kick in the butt. Sometimes being humbled, you know, gets you to get crack a lack as Sandy says. So I went to the gym and that was, that was nice. I did that. I felt good about it. And it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm going to make this video ahead of time instead of doing it tomorrow. And so I don't know, just reflecting on a lot of things right now, but what I need to do with my life and um, how I need to put some more hard work into my weight loss um, in order to get where I want to be and feel better and just get healthier. So I don't know. I just thought I would tell you guys that really quick because literally it was like two hours ago I filmed my other video, so I've got that on my mind still. But that's not why you're here to talk about my video yesterday. You're here to find out about an easy recipe. I've got a really easy and fun recipe here for you today. If you like beans, you'll think it's fun. My husband today said, let's make some white bean chicken um, soup. And I said, hey, why don't I just make a video out of it then? Because bean soup is generally lower budget. I've been trying to do lower budget um, videos. So I found this one on the Weight Watchers app. I will, um, I know I just learned the hard way last week. Not all of you, of course, are on Weight Watchers. So when I put the Weight Watchers link, you can't get to it. So I'm going to copy and paste it and have it in the description box for you with everything. So let's go over what are you going to need for the slow cooker white chicken chili. It's two points if you're on Weight Watchers. Um, and I think it's six servings. So let me just go over it real quick what you're going to need. You're going to need some cannellini white beans. Uh, my husband my husband set this up, which is hilarious because he went to the grocery store to get all this this morning. So I thought, oh, hey, you're setting up my videos. He loves to make this Jiffy cornbread mix. They're super cheap. So we will make this. We usually make them into mini muffins. I don't have nutritional information for you. It's just to give you an idea of what my husband likes to do when we make different chilies. So this is just the Jiffy uh, corn muffin mix. And this company is actually in Chelsea, Michigan. So not wait, not too, too far from where I live. Um, so white beans, you're gonna need a jar of salsa verde, which is like the green salsa, low sodium chicken broth, low so sodium taco mix, um, an onion, I'm thawing my chicken here. I just have like the Costco chicken breast. You're gonna need some non-fat Greek plain yogurt. Um, over here in the drain board, cause I'm washing it is cilantro, and um, jalapenos, which is optional at the end. And then you're gonna need some corn tortilla chips. And I think that's, you can put that on at the end if you like. Otherwise, if you don't, I think if you don't do the, the chips, it's, it's it might even be zero points. I have no idea, but it's the chips that does it. So anyway, that's what you're gonna need to make this in, and it's in the slow cooker. So if you like bean soup, I think you'll really enjoy this. I've made lots of varieties of bean soups on my channel. And I just thought this would be fun. Oh, did I say jalapenos and cilantro was in there? Okay, I did. Okay. Um, so anyway, let me choppy, choppy, choppy and get things organized. And we'll throw this in the crock pot. Go about our business and come back in four hours or so. So um, let's get cracking. Okay, let's make this chicken soup. It says to put the onions on the bottom. And I'm going to cook this on high for three to four hours because it's already just about two o'clock in the afternoon. Let me get that onion thing out. And that way we can have it for dinner. So put the onions on the bottom. 
Then we're going to add our chicken breasts. These are just the regular old chicken breasts I get from Costco. I notice how they're putting the chicken on top of the onions. That way maybe it'll flavor it up a little bit. So we've got our chicken. We've got our onions. The next thing we're going to need to do is add our chicken stock. And I believe that was two and a half cups. Let me just double check myself. Two and a half cups. So I got the low sodium kind. Because as you know, if you watched my video, I'm bloated. It says to use low sodium. So two and a cups, that's one. And I absolutely love dump and go res uh, recipes like this. Do your thing, carry on with your day. We all need that, right? Two and a half. Okay, so there's our stock. That's easy enough, I can handle this. Taco seasoning, it says one tablespoon of the low sodium taco seasoning. Got that. This is just old El Paso. Sprinkle that all over, give it the flavor. I love bean soup. So I hope you guys like beans because I have a lot of bean recipes on here. 16 ounces of the salsa verde. Put that in. This gives it a lot of flavor. Okay, taco stoning bean salsa verde. And then we've got the beans. Three cans of cannellini white beans. I've rained rinsed and drain them so in they go into the pool dump that in okay and it says to stir gently cover and cook until chicken is tender let me just make sure that taco seasoning is in there good oh i love stuff like this tell me if you like a good bean soup especially one at home that you can control the sodium and everything so i'm gonna pop a lid on this three and a half to four hours. And then at the end we add the uh, yogurt. And I think we mix up some of this in the blender to make part of it, you know, chunky, part of it smooth. And I think on top it's optional for the chips and the jalapenos and cilantro. I have all that. That way we can just make it nice. My husband will love the jalapenos. So that's it, you guys, super easy. I'm gonna go do some things around the house. And um, yeah, when we come back, we're gonna be just about ready for dinner. Hey guys. All right, I think the chicken is done in the crock pot, so I'm gonna take it out and shred it. And then you can either take a potato masher and mash all the beans on the bottom right in there, or you can put it in a blender, or if you have an immersion blender, believe it or not, I, all the things I have in this kitchen, I do not have an immersion blender or a masher. So I am going to, I'll show you. I'm gonna take the chicken out, shred it, and then I'm gonna take most of the beans and a little bit of the soup and put it in a blender and just do a little zhuzhing with that to smooth it out. So let me show you how the soup looks right here now. Here is the soup. It's just started raining here. It's so cold and rainy and yucky. So I'm gonna take the chicken out, put it in a bowl. There we go. So off camera, I'm going to shred this chicken and then I'm gonna take a bunch of this soup so I get the, a lot of the big onions and the beans, put it in a blender and mush it up. That way it kind of makes it more like a smooth, creamy soup. So I'm gonna do that off camera. But if you have an immersion blender or a potato masher, you could do it right in here. So see you in a few minutes after All I right, get that Here done. we go, we're just gonna do a little pulse, pulse, pulse. There, just for me. I took the beans in the soup mixture and put it in my blender and pureed it. But I left some beans because I like to have a little bit of a bite to it. So I did that. This looks like a nice lentil soup. And in my handy dandy stand mixer, I took my chicken breasts, turned on the stand mixer and let it do all the work. So I just made a bunch of mess with using all these things, but oh well, <laughs> that's what dishwashers are for. So we're gonna add our chicken. And we are going to add some non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm gonna throw that in, so let's make it creamy. This is just from Costco, Costco brand. That, I'm gonna stir it around. It smells so good. So there's a million chicken, chili, soupy recipes all over the place. And I, and I have a couple on, on this, uh, you know, in my repertoire on this, on, oh, I can't speak, on my playlist is what I'm trying to say. 
and I absolutely love it. So we've got that in there. Stirring around, making sure everything's warm through. If my husband's up to it, I'm gonna have him try it for us. Okay, so I believe there are six servings and they're one and two thirds cup. So let me get my handy dandy. Let's do one cup first. Put in our bowl. Ooh, it's gonna be a lot. And then two thirds, let me find the line. That's about right. It's a lot of soup, guys, for two points. There's our delicious soup. We can top it with a little bit of cilantro. You don't have to go out and buy this if you don't want to deal with that. And then you're supposed to take four tortilla chips, crunch them up, throw it on top. And then if you'd like, you can put jalapeno on it, which I'm going to do. I took the seeds out and I washed it. I think that's the real hot part put a little jalapeno on it there we go beautiful what is this called chicken chili slow cooker white chicken chili so my husband's downstairs i'm going to see if he'll come up and take a bite for us and let us know looks absolutely delicious lots of protein two points i will have the whole recipe down below so you can put it in whatever tracker you follow I'll be right back. Let me hunt him down. <laughs> okay, got my husband up here. He's trying to bite. It's probably super hot. What do you think? Not that hot, not that spicy, but very flavorful. Does it need to be spicier? I tend to like things spicy. <laughs> he would like more spice to it. We could definitely add some spice. I have that um, pepper on top, so maybe that'll help. Mm -hmm. But um, so medium spicy it is, light to medium. I'd almost categorize it as mild, but very flavorful. Flavorful, but mild. Okay. Yeah. So you would rather have it be spicier. But Here's some jalapenos. <laughs> but that's just me. I think most people would find it spicy enough. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, he gives it a thumbs up and says it's not too crazy spicy. All right, guys. He said he really liked it. He said, when he... When I turned off the camera, I said, are you sure you liked it? I couldn't really tell you. So it's really good. But he likes things super spicy. Excuse this light because it's getting dark out. I'm going to take a quick bite. Um, so I've got the chip in there, the cilantro. I just thought I would try it because I'm curious now what it's like. Let's see. Mmm. It's very, very good, you guys. I think you're going to, I think you're going to like this. It is more mild. You can always add more spice to it if you want has a really good creamy consistency and it's high in protein and it's two points. And you're getting chicken and beans and vegetables and all of that. So this is a winner. I'm so glad I made this. We're gonna warm this through a little bit and have this for dinner. My husband later on will make these corn muffins from Jiffy, so good. And we bake them in mini muffins. So less points and it's just a nice little thing to have with, with, um, with soup, but I have to figure out the points. I'm not really sure to tell you the truth. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this cook with me. Budget friendly, healthy, easy soup for fall and winter that's coming this way. So thank you again for all of your support and for watching. And I'm wishing you guys a great week ahead. I'll see you real soon. Bye, honey bunnies.